Hello everyone. This video is going to answer a data recovery question. The question is how to repair a broken USB socket on a portable hard drive. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time is the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. If the hard drive PCB board is not broken, you may try to desolder the bad USB socket out and replace it with a good USB socket. Because the PCB board is very thin, and also there are tiny components surrounding it, when desolder and solder the USB socket, make sure do not touch the components nearby. This picture shows two broken connectors from two portable hard drives. If the hard drive PCB board is broken, swapping the PCB board is an easy and a quick solution to fix the hard drives. But the questions are 1. How to find the correct donor PCB board? 2. From similar portable hard drives, the PCB boards are compatible? 3. Why the hard drive not working after swapping the PCB board from the identical hard drives. The rest of this video is going to answer these questions and provide the solution as well. We are going to use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find a donor PCB board. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the PC board number. It is inside of the board. You have to take off the board and then you can see the PC board number. Same brand name, same size, and even same model hard drives, they may have different PC board number. That is why we have to find out what is the PCB board number of the damaged PCB board and then we can find the correct donor board. You may go to hdd-parts.com input the model number and the PCB board number then click on go. Now the correct donor board is found. Please read item description part and follow the instructions. This picture shows both the bad and the good PCB boards. On the left is the bad PCB board. On the right is the good PCB board. They share the same PCB board number. Then the questions are 1. How to find the correct donor PCB board? Question 2. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer, even the two PCB boards share the same PCB board number and they came from the same model hard drives. The rest of this video is going to answer these two questions. What is the PCB board firmware and why do we have to transfer this firmware? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The firmware includes the hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So 
we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original bad PCB board to the good donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. This picture illustrated how the PCB board format transfer works. On the left hand side is the bad PCB board. On the right hand side is the good PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad PCB board to the good PCB board. Questions about the PCB board firmware transfer. What? We can do the firmware transfer from the burned, physically damaged, watered PCB boards. 2. PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. PCB board firmware transfer is to copy the board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or other PCB board. 3. We do firmware transfer for our clients for free. 4. We offer worldwide free shipping to ship the donor board to our clients. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients send in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.